Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are going to be just doing this uh, from my house. Uh, the park is actually kind of packed. Let me turn augmented reality off. Um, what I was going to say is the park is really busy and it's like, I don't know, there's a bunch of family reunions and stuff going on. So I thought I'd just record a video from my house today and we will uh, we'll head to the park on Monday when it's less populated and I can... Um, the hose right outside my house just started leaking, all right. Um, not leaking, but like, you know, you know how when you turn the thing off and it kind of like drips out the end, I don't know why I'm trying to explain this, but so I thought I'd do like a half hour, an hour, depending on uh, what happens here and what we catch. I thought I'd do a half hour, hour of recording um, just all the Pokemon I find while sitting in my house. It'll give you an idea of kind of, I'm going to use incense and I'm going to use lucky eggs and we'll go from there. This was just on my screen when I opened the app, so I decided to catch the wheel. But we are going to be using a Lucky Egg and the Incense. Uh, the app was actually down earlier uh, because they released it in all the new countries. I popped an Incense and a Lucky Egg then, but ended up wasting those. Nice. We've got a Spiro. I actually really do need Spiros. I'm, I'm almost to getting a Fero. I'm actually going to use a Raspberry. I'm going to take a drive maybe today or tomorrow. Uh, and hit up some Pokestops so I'll get some more raspberries uh, then so I won't have to worry about why does it have the arrows on my screen uh, I won't have to worry about being low on items after that but that's why I'm kind of using pokeballs and or raspberries and great balls hopefully this great ball will catch this fear out there we go whenever you activate an incense I suggest opening up I'll show you guys here in a second once we get these I need three more Spiral Candies, but I suggest as soon as you use an incense, popping this menu up, uh, letting it sit there for a second, and then closing it. Usually there will be a Pokemon that spawns immediately once you do that. Uh, let's see here. Do I have any evolutions to do? Weedle evolutions? No, we're only at five. Piggies. I don't think I have a Piggy evolution. Not yet. Actually, I could do a Piggy evolution. Yeah, let's do a Pidgey evolution here while we're waiting for maybe another Pokemon to spawn in. We'll go ahead and evolve. Get to level 18. Should be getting close. I need to do something with all these Pidgeotos. Like, look at all of this. Look at all these Pidgeotos right here. It's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand with Pidgeys and Pidgeots. Okay, so let's go ahead and evolve this Pidgey. And then I think I might be able to evolve Spiro. We'll go check that out. Um, I want to get a Fero just to have a Fero, and it helps with the completion of the Pokédex, which I'm still on that grind to complete. Um, grinding a lot of things, trying to get to level 20, which needs to happen soon. People are getting level 20. Uh, like, people are way past level 20, kind of leaving me in the dust. Uh, Rattata, not even close. Way too many Raticates. Okay, I need three more. I'd have to... Yeah, that's fine. Let's transfer these. I don't need all these Spiros anyway. I want them to be over 200 anyway. They take 50 to evolve anyway, so by the time I get it up to evolve again, it would be way too... Or I will already... I'll have caught a ton of Spearows. What am I trying to say? There we go. I'll have caught a ton of Spearows anyway, so it won't be a big deal. I'm hoping for like a 600-something Fero. I need to get on a better grind of getting higher uh, CP Pokemon. Uh, don't have many high CP. I guess I'll show you guys that. Uh, this, just this first part here is going to be a little bit longer. What's your combat power? Okay, 672. Not bad. Not bad for Spira, or for Fira. I will take that. Um, I did get a Golbat here, 689. I was able to finally evolve Zubats. I'm working on getting a High Vile Plume, uh, as well as a High Venomoth. I'm still pretty far away there. I uh, finally did get myself a Growlithe. Uh, actually got a decent amount of candies for catching him. I uh, got myself a Kadabra. Uh, you can see Poliwags here. I actually caught a bunch of Poliwags, even more than... Uh, they're not... No, no, no. These are the four Poliwags I caught, but we're on that for the Poliwhirl. Uh, caught a bunch of Shelders. Uh, that's kind of new. I think that's about it. I got this Rhyhorn from an egg as well. I'm on the edge egg hatching grind. Also on the Magic Cart for Gyarados grind. Um, and then, obviously, the the evolutions trying to hatch these eggs right now uh, so when I go out driving tomorrow or maybe later today I can um, 
I can grab more pokey or I can grab more eggs so I can get 10k eggs hopefully. Uh, but here are my highest Pokemon, three of which are Pidgeots. Um, th or yeah, three of which are Pidgeots, three are Eradicates, one is Pidgeotto. Then we got we got um, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Golbat, Fearow now, and Vaporeon. I need to really get to level 20 because that's where uh, everything goes down. We are level 18. Let's see what we get from this. And then I will cut 10 Great Balls, 10 Hyper Potions, some Revive, and some Raspberries. Not half bad, 3k experience for that. Uh, but let's see, I'll give it some time and we'll see what the next Pokemon is that pops up here around my house. Alright, so Pokemon Go is having its issues and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. So I'm only going to catch two Pokemon in this incensed, even if, if I catch this, okay, we did catch the Pidgey. Um, but I'm going to give it some time. Uh, the clock on my iPhone is now messed up. It is not 9.41 a.m. It's 2.11 in the afternoon. Uh, but there we go. We got Pidgey. But you can see the incense and Lucky Egg is already gone. Like, there was just some server issues. Like, I'd catch a Pokemon. And I have a strategy, you know, when it locks up and it doesn't. It just zooms in on the Pokeball that just sits there. I have a strategy for that. I will tell you guys about it. But it wasn't working. Um, it wasn't even zooming in. It was like way back it was like just a little pokeball so it was weird there is a bulbasaur on my screen here actually not that far away i might get on my uh might go and walk and see if i can find this bulbasaur i don't know uh but if i do that i will show I'm, i'll show maybe i'll show catching it but we'll have to wait and see i think it might be over there i just saw those leaves pop up because usually that indicates a pokemon but who knows i might go out and try to find this bulbasaur i may not who knows, but um, I'll pop a lucky egg and an incense later, uh, try to give the servers a little bit of time to rebound here, and then we'll go from there. But I'll catch you guys then. Alright, it appears as if the servers are stable now, so we've got a Pidgey here. I've popped um, incense and a lucky egg again, so let's get it going. Hopefully everything rolls and we are good to go now. Uh, hopefully I can get a train of Pokemon going and we can uh, march our way towards level 19. I'd love to get to level 20 uh, before Monday. Actually, I need to get to level 20 before Monday because that's when I'm going to go do a crazy amount of driving around, hitting up Pokestops, hitting up stuff like that. I'll definitely maybe try to record some of that. Uh, maybe not every Pokestop I stop at, but we'll try to hit up the majority of them. And uh, I want to be able to get Ultra Balls while I'm doing it, so... That's why I need to get to 20. Okay, a red attack just popped up. Here we go. Hopefully we get a little train going here. My goal always when I do this is to catch 10 Pokemon, which is a stretch. Some, usually, if I'm sitting at home, it's usually somewhere around 5 to 10. Uh, but we already got two here real quick in the first couple minutes. Why does my phone say it's 941? I don't get it. I don't get it, Pokemon Go. Yeah, within two minutes, we got two Pokemon down, so I'm going to see if any pop up, and I'll see you guys when one does. Alright, guys, we've got another Pidgey here. Nothing too exciting, but once again, just showing kind of how it works if you don't want to head out of your house and you want to catch, you know, Pokemon here at your house, what you can kind of expect if this Pidgey will let me catch it. There we go. Actually, find out oh, the yeah, yep. I knew it. I knew this one was gonna suck. Actually, I don't even need to do the spinning circle. But this is just kind of showing you that you can do Pokemon Go from your house. Um, not the most effective method to do Pokemon Go, but I will say I have found decent amount of po good Pokemon at my house. It's not like all of my Pokemon have come uh, while driving around or doing anything else. So we can evolve this 274 Pidgey, so I'll go ahead and do that. Get myself Y1000 XP, making the long and painful grind to level 20 so I can get Ultra Balls. What level, what combat power is this Pidgeotto going to be? That's the real question. Oh, 518, I don't think that's the, it was close, 527 is the highest one right now. I think I can evolve anything else now. 
Alright, so we will continue to wait. Still doing decent on time remaining. Hopefully we will find... I don't know why it's walking me around. I'm not moving. I'm sitting in a chair. So I don't quite understand what it's doing right now. But I'll be back when we find another Pokemon. Alright, so we stumbled across another Pidgey. So we're catching another Pidgey here. I might do another half hour... Might do another incense and another lucky egg um, after this if I don't if I keep just finding Pidgeys. Oh, this is getting me experience, which I'll take at this point. I do want some experience, so we will take that. But what it's not doing is really giving me anything I want or need. Uh, this is kind of the problem with doing it while you're sitting at home. Um, is that you're restricted, like, these things, you, you don't even want to pay attention to anything on the screen here nearby, because rarely does any of it come, none of it comes to you, you just get other Pokemon from around that come to you, so like this Horsey, the Nidoran, female, uh, the Eevee, and the Venonat, which I would take all three of those, probably in the order of Eevee, Horse, or no, it'd be Nidoran, female, Eevee, Horsey, and then Venonat, okay, so here we go, we got a Rattatat, as we continue to find the same Pokemon. It's a good thing I can capture these things in Pokeballs, or we probably wouldn't be catching them right now. In all honesty, because... don't really want to waste Great Balls on Rattatats and Pidgeys. Alright, so I think that will probably it be at that spawn right now. I'll have to give it another minute or two, but we'll see what else spawns. Well, surprise, surprise, we've got another Rattatat. Rattatata, what did I say? <laughs> Rattatat. Okay, or Rattata. I think that's that's how you should pronounce it. Don't run away. Okay. I should probably aim for these to be a little bit tighter of circles. I think if you have it the smallest, contrary to popular belief, I believe that's where you want it. Uh, but there we go, caught him. I'm sick of catching ra <laughs> Rattatas. Because it's just getting out of hand uh, with how many that I keep capturing. Uh, but so far, just Pidgeys and Raditas so far. So we'll see here if we can find something else. Well, looky here. What a surprise. Another Pidgey. So let's capture him. He's only 75 combat power. Should be pretty easy to capture. I sure hope. Okay, so here we go with the... Uh, with the glitch issues with Pokemon Go, where the Pokeball doesn't open. I'm going to make a video about this, I think, but let me explain it here real quick. So, when it zooms in like this and then it's stuck, imagine in your mind the swivel, swivel, rock, and then stars. We've all seen it enough. You know about how long it takes mentally. Just picture that in your head. Give it a second. Imagine the thing popping up and then you hitting OK. Now at this point, go ahead and close this out, reopen Pokemon Go, and I think if it still works, uh, that 75 combat power Pidgey should be waiting for me. I'll probably look like an idiot, because he probably won't be waiting for me. But, let's go ahead and see. Ooh. Oh, the eggs. Executes are there. Okay, so there should be a 75 combat power Pidgey. There he is. Caught on July 16th, which is today. To prove it even more, we'll go recent. Scroll up to the top. There's the Pidgey. 75 combat power, last Pokemon caught. Uh, so there it is. Just wanted to show you guys that. I'll do it in a future video and try to explain it better. Probably use this clip. Um, but... That's how you do that, but let's get back to catching Pokemon. There's actually a Weedle here, so at least that's something different. It's it's a Weedle, at least. 74 combat power. Spin that bad boy in. I've gotten actually pretty good at that spinning. It's actually not that hard, but... Oh! All right! That Weedle just dipped. All right. Well, Weedle pieced out after one Pokeball, but... We'll come back, see if we can catch anything else. We got six minutes remaining.
Well, alright, we are back with another semi-powerful Radita. So, let's go ahead and catch it. Radita, what, however you want to pronounce it. I need to figure out exactly how I pronounce it so I stop sounding like an idiot. It's the most common Pokemon, like, ever, and I can't even say its name correctly. But there we go. Radita has been caught. We are three candies off of the evolution. Let's go ahead and evolve him. I've got plenty of these things to scrap. I actually have three right here that will never get evolved, so... Because obviously I'm not going to evolve crappy Pokemon. I want to evolve the stronger ones. I'm just going to start leaving Raticates and Pidgeotos at gyms. Like, I'm just going to drive around, take gyms with Vaporeon and Jolteon, and then just go ahead and leave... Um, leave Raticates and Pidgeotos at those gyms because it's getting out of hand. I got way too many Rat... This may be... Is this going to be my strongest Raticate? Uh, yes, it is. A 710 Raticate. So that is the strongest Raticate that I've made. So that's always nice. Oh, we got... Speaking of Raticates and Raditas, here's another one. Do you like a 300? Aw, oh, 201. I was hoping for a 300. And that was a bad throw. I knew that from the beginning. Swing back in, there we go. That almost missed two, that would have been embarrassing. Except in one of these, didn't I miss like twice? Or no, I missed like four times in a row in this video. So nothing gets more embarrassing than that. So I could have just been patient and we would have gotten the three uh, candies there, but I don't I don't think I needed to, need to, or I don't think I needed to wait. I was never gonna evolve those. Uh, Rattas down at the bottom, but we are on that grind back up to level 19. We still got 20,000 XP to go. That's crazy. Uh, but hopefully maybe we can find one more Pokemon in this episode. That's the hope. And, well, there will be one more, whether I find it in this egg time or I just find it later. Uh, but there will be one more uh, to wrap this video up, so I'll catch you guys then. Alright, so I decided to do another half hour of boosting, so we are going to be starting this off with yet another Pidgey. Uh, Pidgeys and Raditas. That's about a... Uh, uh, don't bolt, thank you. You know what? Just take a raspberry. Come on, stop it. Stop it. Stop it, you suck. And why didn't that... Why did that not curve back in? Okay. Come on. Give me that curve back in. There we go. Stay in the Pokeball, Pidgey. I hate you, Pidgey. Stay in the Pokeball. Come on. I don't want to use a Great Ball on a Pidgey. I'm trying to save those for... There we go. We're good. I'm trying to save my Pokeballs for... You know, or my Great Balls for Pokemon that aren't as common as Pidgey. Let's see if any turn up here real quick here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's go ahead and evolve this Pidgey. We can ditch the 10 CP one. And go ahead and evolve the 279. I'm closing in on 60,000 Stardust. I don't know when I'm actually going to start spending Stardust. Probably, I don't know, maybe when I get 100,000 Stardust. I want to wait until I get a Pokemon that I really, really like. That I really want to... Like, when I get Arcanine... Or Nine Tails, those two Pokemon I'm investing heavily Stardust into. Okay, so that's only a 509 Pidgeotto. Oh, actually, that no, it's not. I have a 527. I was gonna say I didn't think that was the strongest Pidgeotto I had. All right, still 19 or 18,500 away. Crazy how long it takes to level up. But let's see what else we can find. Hopefully, something not Pidgey, Rattata, or. Weedle, I'll even take a Caterpie at this point, but we'll, we'll see. Alright guys, well, we've got another Pidgey. Another one of these little guys. This one should be easy, only 28 combat power. This is kind of the one thing that is the issue about doing it at home. You can't really control the Pokemon that come to you. Obviously, it's not always like this with Pidgey, Rattata, or Pidgey, Rattata, Weedle, Pidgey, Pidgey. 
Like, it's not always this bad with the Pokemon that you catch, but you can't control. Like, I'm, I can't go get this Eevee, or I can't go get this Paris. can't go get the Executes. Um, I, I'm stuck with whatever the game spawns next to me because of the incense. Uh, it's kind of the same with the lure, but you can... You can do a little bit more with lure. Lures work a little bit. I think the algorithm on lures is a little bit different than it is on uh, incense. Uh, it seems to draw more different Pokemon, while incense tends to just draw whatever Pokemon. I think lures tend to draw a little bit rarer, while they'll still draw Weedles and Pidgeys and Rattatan and all this garbage. They will also draw, you know other Pokemon. Uh, we are going to do a lure video. I think I've got two spots picked out that I really like for doing lures, so we'll uh, we'll be hitting those up sometimes next week, but let's see if we can catch any more Pokemon. we still got 22 minutes, so let's see. Well, we got another Pidgey, so I definitely... Oh my gosh, what a horrible throw. My bad. Get my... Accuracy. There we go. Curve that bad boy back in. Catch it. No, I hate you, Pidgey. Don't bolt. Thank you. And it didn't curve. <laughs> Come on, phone. There we go. There's my curve. So I might be starting um, on Monday... Well, we, we may be getting another iPhone. Um, I know they're going to be adding trading to this eventually. Um, I'm going to be upgrading my iPhone because uh, we're switching from AT&T to T-Mobile. Uh, mostly because I can, I, I can get my unlimited data and... Um, well, partially, I like the fact that it's like free internet. It's free... Um, what am I trying to say? It's free data if you're in the Pokemon Go app. That's like I like that. And then also what I was gonna say is it's also like eighty bucks cheaper than what they quoted us at AT and T. So I was like, yeah, for eighty bucks, let me let let me go to T Mobile. Um also what I was gonna say about that is is that I might start up like a series on that. I'm gonna have I already have another iPhone, but it doesn't connect to the internet well, so I can't really use it, but on that, if I can be on Wi-Fi, we can be we can be catching Pokemon on two devices. I can record it on two. Well, yeah, I can. I, I can. I can record both devices, and we can see what uh, see what happens because eventually there'll be trading in this, so I can trade myself the Pokemon obviously from that device to my main one. Uh, but who knows? That's just a thought from me. Uh, but hopefully we can get, like, maybe even, like, an Eevee. The game did crash, so I only got, like, two things nearby. But hopefully we can get us, like, an Eevee. At least something. Give me something. Uh, but... Well, guys. Mistakes were made. I finally found a Pokemon. Not Rattata. Not freaking Pidgey. And not a Weedle. We found an Execute. And the, uh, and the video didn't record. So here he is, you can see, sorting it by recent, there he is, caught the execute, nothing, can't do anything about the stupid, so the video not recording, Bling, blame my Mac for not recording the video, but we did catch an execute, of course the one Pokemon that wasn't a Pidgey or a Radita, the video doesn't record, but there it is, we did catch an execute, my bad. Alright, so... Here we go, we found ourselves a Weedle, I guess it's different from the Pidgeys and the Ratatas that have overtaken this video, but it's still a Weedle. I just want to find, like, an Eevee. Eevees aren't even that rare. I mean, can we just give me, give me a Eevee? Actually, I'll even take a Caterpie. Let me not even be picky. Thank you, Eevee, let's go. These used to be like a 400 Eevee. Oh, 231. Eh. Uh, 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 I'll catch you for video purpose, for the purpose of the video. And I still need to get Eevees and stuff. Because I still want to be able to evolve and level up and all that different stuff. So there's an Eevee caught. And I definitely want to be all set and prepared for when Umbreon and, and uh, Espeon come out. Because I, as much as I like Eevee, like, just 
you know, just EV in general, uh, the EV Lucians, I do like Umbreon and Espeon a lot because of Pokemon Coliseum, was it, Col it Coliseum? No. That po the Pokemon game for the GameCube that came before, uh, Gales of Shadows, or what is it, Gale of Shadows, or... Sh I can't remember the names. I have both of them downstairs. I have both of those Pokemon games. I just forget the name of them. Uh, the one with Lugia on the cover, and then the one... Um, I think it is... Is, is it Pokemon Coliseum? Poke the, the first one is better. Like, you're an adult. You're not a kid. Like, in Gale of Darkness. There it is. It's Gale of Darkness, I think. Uh, but let's see if we can catch anything else. we got six more minutes. Uh, let's see if we can find something else. Alright guys, so we found a Staryu. This is at least something new. Uh, gonna go ahead and hit it with a Raspberry. Um, and this is kind of, it's kind of weird that I found the Staryu because it's nowhere near where... It's kind of close to water because there's a little river uh, just far away. I'll show you. I think you can see it on the map. Uh, but it's not anything big. It's not like a big body of water. It's just a little river. So I'll let you guys see that here in a second. But nice Staryu. Um, I'm going to find one more Pokemon. Uh, I know I only got 30 seconds left here, but you can see the river back there. kind of runs along uh, the back of the houses over there. Um, but I'll find our one more Pokemon. I know I, my incense and my lucky egg is going to expire, but I would like to find one more Pokemon for you guys, and then I'll hit you with an outro. But I'll see you guys when we find one. Alright, well this took way too long to get this final Pokemon, but we did finally find a Weedle. So let's get him captured. Throw a little bit of lag, I must be the servers again, I would assume. Alright, Weedle, fine, I gotta catch you. Because <laughs> I'm not waiting for another Pokemon to close this video, so... I'm using a Great Ball and a Weedle. This is happening right now. A Raspberry and a Great Ball for a Weedle. And we're zooming in again. So... Like I said, picture the swivel, swivel, shake, stars, the okay thing popping up, you tapping okay. Go ahead and close that out. Head back into Pokemon Go. And the Weedle should be waiting there. But let me close up this video. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. I thought it would be something different. You know, most of the time you see people going out uh, of their house, leaving, and uh, catching Pokemon out, which is what I want to do, what I'll do mostly. But I thought this would be a little bit different of a video of me doing some Pokemon Go within my house and showing you guys that you can actually, you can actually do this in your house. And there is the Weedle. Like I said, that method is tried and true. If it happens, go ahead and do it just as I did should work pretty much every time. Uh, let's go by number. Let's go ahead and evolve one of these Weedles while I continue to talk. Um, that's what I want to do. I want to bring you guys some different things. Um, I'm going to do a lure like setup in a like a half hour lure thing where I've set up somewhere where it's not super crowded uh, just to see what Pokemon I draw in. I know the lures work better in crowded areas, but once again, trying to do something a little bit different will uh, hit up a spot that, probably the church right across from my house, uh, and we'll see what we can catch there. Uh, also, you know, obviously we're going to head out to the park. We're going to do stuff out in the, uh, out and about, but now I probably should have saved that evolution. I cost myself 500 XP. I forgot I don't have a lucky egg activated oh well uh but i hope you guys enjoyed uh this video okay i guess we're catching an oddish now things want to spawn once i've once i've uh what am i trying to say once i've started to wrap up the video god that was pathetic i actually kind of need this oddish don't really need these great balls so let's throw these come on oddish get in the pokeball make it easy Oh my god, Oddish, I swear, just get in the Pokeball. I'm still work. oh my gosh, I missed. And what the heck, why is it not... There we go. It's like, why is it not throwing it far enough? It's landing right in front of the Oddish. There we go, caught the Oddish. Now is something else going to want to pop up now, or... Can I wrap up this video? 
Okay, I, I think I think we're good, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop it a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll hit you guys with more Pokemon Go videos either tonight or tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.